Yeah, welcome to Octech Solar Academy. Um, in this video, we're going to be teaching you how to install solar power, the battery power, the P2Z camera. And we're going to take it, take it step by step. So, in this video, we have our camera. These are the camera. We have our SIM card uh, slot. Um, the other one, we have uh, our TF uh, card slot. Or something. So, we are going to start by inserting uh, the other one is the reset button so we're going to start by inserting our, our memory uh, sim card um, you can use any sim card because this particular uh, solar system does not sell it is a dual sim card mode you can use it so we insert our sim card to it and make sure we use our pin to push the sim card inside to fit into the sim card slot and then the other one will bring our st card that is our memory card for the video storage Remember, this particular solar system does not have an inbuilt storage memory, unless it, for those of them that can be able to subscribe for the cloud storage. So you pay for that one. So this is how we adjust our dipole. Then we have two ways of installing this. For those of you who want to install your own outside your house, we have an extension wire where you can use it to connect. And uh, uh, this wire has polarity. It has male and female ports, as you can see. You understand it has male and female port. The one on my left, uh, uh, left hand side is male, and this is the female part which I just inserted. Then you make sure you tighten it very, very well so that it will be able to fit into so that you are protect your, your water from entering, penetrating into the wire from the slots. Do you understand? So, having done that, we have our plug, uh, which is we had for the power of the from the power that goes from the solar panel to the um, solar camera then we have to switch it on where we have all and all buttons so we switch it on you can see that solar panel is powered you can see that the wind is blinking that light so that you have to wait the same way you start it that the they will give you indication um the uh, inside the sim card inside the memory card and the cfk power which you've already done so we have to proceed by um, installing our app for those of you who uses Android for this installation, so you have to go to uh, Play Store. We already have this particular U bus downloaded on my phone. So if you have not downloaded, you go to Play Store, then have it downloaded. Do you understand? So while we wait for it to download, sorry that I'm rushing this video. Why we don't want to exceed more than this? While we wait for it to download, we've downloaded and we have to uh, open the app which you have seen. You can see where they say add camera so we have to we have wi-fi we have to choose set up for 4g having done that they say inside the sim card inside memory card and uh, adjust the antenna the blue led will light up then this is now giving you opportunity said yes you have to tick on that um that one button to say that is yet like i said the blue led is already lighting up so you have to tick to say that the blue LED has a light up, then you click on next. Do you understand? Know then you take a QR code to say allow uh, uh, this to do so. This is our QR code, and we have to proceed by scanning the QR code. Having done that, you can see we have scanned it and it's processing. And now it will now bring out our, our device name. So you have to choose a device name. We have different device names because I've already chosen the device name. So we have front camera, living room, and back door camera. So we have to choose the front camera. Then the other one is on default. Click on next. Finally, camera is fully installed. So congratulations, successfully. So click on that empty box to view your camera live. You can see we are viewing it live. Please subscribe to our channel. So thank okay. you for watching. Please stay tuned in on our next video. Please do not forget to like, share, and comment. And follow us for more updates. Peace.